So one last thing that I would um, like to go over before we close, I forget which stream it was, but I was talking about the crazy hot scale. And some people thought that I was making that up, but uh, I'm not making that up because it is actually a real thing. Okay. <laughs> tell you what, why don't we listen in and Let's get some thoughts. This is the universal hot crazy matrix. It's everything a young man needs to know about women. Um, I've developed this on my own over 46 years of living on the earth. So this is how it works. I love this. You have your <laughs> axis and your hot axis. Ah, <laughs> uh, crazy and hot. Okay, I like where this is going. From zero to ten. We're all familiar with that. <laughs> Measured from four to ten because, of course, there's no such thing as a woman who's not at least four crazy. <laughs> four to ten. Oh, <laughs> keep in mind where the hot crazy line is. There is a zero hot, but there's nothing less than four on crazy. Okay. <laughs> This is your no-go zone. We do not hang around and date and marry women who are not, at least in our mind, a five. Um, <laughs> so this is your no-go zone. You don't go here. We just rule this out. <laughs> Life is better this way. What? That's the way it is. All right. Um, above a five and to about an eight and below the crazy line, this is your fun zone. <laughs> hang out here and and, and uh, meet these girls and spend time with them. That's your fun zone. But keep in mind, when you're in the fun zone, you want to move out of the fun zone to a more permanent location. Okay, um, so that's the fun zone above a five hot, below an eight hot, and below the crazy line. This means these are most of the time not crazy. Okay. <laughs> above the danger zone, above the uh, above the crazy line, we have the danger zone. So that's that's Amber Heard. Ed, your stripper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is hairdressers. This is where this is where your car gets keyed. You get a bunny in the pot. Uh, your tires get slashed, and you wind up in jail. Um, now, now that we have wrong. the chart filled in. We got a couple more pieces to put in, but at this point. Understand something. This is not a static environment. This is a situation where you have got to uh, use this matrix over time to develop some reliable data. It's like a dope chart, okay? You ought, because at any moment in time, any woman that you have previously located on this chart can vanish from that location and appear anywhere else. On the <laughs> what you have to do is over time collect some data. <laughs> it's like electron is vanishing. We can consider that reliable. Now, moving on, you have this zone here. This is below the crazy line, above an eight hot, but still, you know, about a seven crazy <laughs> eight zone. What? You can stay in the date zone indefinitely. These are women that you introduce to your friends and your family. Um, they're they're good looking and they're reasonably not crazy most of the time. Okay, so this, you can stay here indefinitely. What the heck? What? Seven eight hot, and between about a seven and a five crazy. This is your wife zone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you should consider a long-term relationship. Uh, this zone is not scaled to size. This, this, is, not, this is not a pie chart showing you how many of these people are. All of these just play the crazy. It's great. What you're after. You want to be five to seven crazy above an eight high. That's your wife's zone. Okay? Now, below a five crazy... And above an eight hot, this is your unicorn zone. This is, <laughs> this is the victorious model that's going to be a good wife and mother. Okay. Safely, you know, 
We'd like to study it and maybe look at how to replicate that. <laughs> I was explaining this to a guy one time and he said, wait a minute. I met this girl and she's like smoking hot. She's like at least the nine and she's chill. She's co totally cool. She's like not even a three crazy. <laughs> you're telling me you've met a girl, she's a nine hot and she's like a two or a three crazy. He said, yeah, man, I like her a lot. I said, you should be careful. That's a dude. You're talking to a tranny. <laughs> 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 That's good storytelling. You're probably talking to a dude. <laughs> Man, universal hot crazy man. <laughs> Okay, so that's universal hot crazy. Yes, dude. All right, so Lorena, you got to send me the link to that because there's a lot of profound wisdom in there. It's like Zen. I got to watch that. <laughs> the, the, I, I will. The fact that this dude is dressed up like that guy from Office Space. Yeah. I'm going to say Murkowski. <laughs> and he's like, he's got the fire protector in his yeah, Cameron. I, I will. I will. I will send you that. I will send you that link. Actually, I'm probably gonna drop that link. In I mean, I got, I got to say, I mean, not, from a dude perspective, I kind of get it. And you know, I'm in Hollywood, where let's just say they're all in that crazy zone, crazy yeah, hot. Yeah. Zone. Yeah. Yeah. Put that, put that link in the description. <laughs> you know, yes, I will. I will put it. I will put it in the description. Um, it's in the private chat too, Cameron. So you can grab um, the link from there, or um, you know, if you want. My me. husband thinks I'm a unicorn for sure. Uh, well, but, you, but you Persian women know how to manipulate guys. You you know how to control. Them. <laughs> it's, it's 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 like I mean, every Persian dude, or every guy I know married to a Persian woman is totally wrapped around. You just you know, it's just like. Yeah, it's done. Oh, that's not true in our case because I'm a lot less Persian and a lot more Canadian. So, <laughs> Justin says, show him the female version. I will have to find that, Justin. The one that I found, that there was one I saw, but the sound was so bad. I, I, I mean, you would think she would have fixed the sound before she did it. So um, I, I will, I will have to try to dig another one up. I didn't like the sound quality. Um, with that one. Oh, I know I know they had, they had done the whole crazy hot skit. They had touched on it on um how how I met your mother. That, that was where I first heard yeah, of it. Things you can't even Good do night, this Justin. anymore. You can't do this kind of humor anymore because that any proper. humor that's gonna be considered offensive. All yeah. humor is offensive now. You know yeah. and you, you, I mean we humor is based in certain truths that are uncomfortable, exaggeration of those truths and, and human and particularly mm. male female dynamics have a lot of uncomfortable things in there that you have to be able to make fun of. Yeah, and in my culture, we have okay. what we call is like sacred people that are called heyokas. And basically, they're contrary. So basically, they're backwards people. So they make light of funny stuff mm -hmm. because they say that we can't take ourselves too seriously because then that's bad for the soul. Well, they're like the Loki characters. I mean, the mm -hmm. trickster characters, and they're, they're necessary. You need them. Loki yeah. is actually the one that makes the, uh, the, the, the Norse pantheon work. Right? Yeah. Without, without him, the, those gods don't work. He's the one yeah. that keeps them on the toes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, thanks to Justin, who had to go. He did find the one for women. So, oh, we uh, need to see that. Let's, we, we, yeah, we, we need to see that. So, we need thank, to balance it out. <laughs> thank you so much. Because the one I found was just the, the sound was horrible. I'm like, I don't want it, you know. I don't want this one. So, let's check this out. Oh, gun. Hey everybody, James Jaeger here with Tap to Respond. And I got the terrorist mouthpiece with me. <laughs> this is a uh, uh, go introduce yourself. I'm Dana McClendon. I am the consulary to the Camden Mafia <laughs> and the terrorist mouthpiece. <laughs> but uh, what are we going to talk about? What are you going to talk about today? Today's lesson is it's a little off the beaten path of tactical response, but it's still something that you can use every day. This is the hot, crazy matrix. It's what you need to know about how to deal with women. And, and, and how to analyze the situation that you may be in or want to be in. Okay, uh, let's take a look at that right now. Okay, so this is the universal hot crazy matrix. It's everything a young man needs to know about women. Well, did we just see this? Okay, this Justin just so said it's at the very years. end. So let me scrub here. So we've got that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man, I like her a lot. Talk about Down dude. here, below a four. 
Is, is there a oh, yeah. version of that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Would it also be? Oh, yeah. It's a little it, simpler. If a dude is super hot, okay. Yeah, it's a little simpler, but we can go. Oh, it doesn't take very long at all. Oh, Lord. That's kind yeah. of scary when it's a little simpler. Yeah. And uh, if you have, there's only one. You have a very large no go zone. <laughs> this will produce hot nor have a lot of money. Money and cute. So that's so it. Huh? Here, this is the blood cute. infection. Uh, no money, no cute. No cross money. a line and have sufficient amounts of money, it is no longer relevant how hot you are. <laughs> and then we have to have a there you go. Uh, <laughs> is there a friend zone on there? Is that what he put friend zone or something? Yeah, I'll find I, think, it. I think that's what the no go zone is actually. <laughs> yeah, he called it. Uh, he called it. Wait a minute, let's go back here. He called it um uh, the fun zone. Yeah, that that um, is yeah, the no go zone. And what's the one above it? With the, the cute guy. It's just what is that? The game. Cute guy, it's like the fun zone is is up here. So mm -hmm. if you're cute, zone, if you don't have zone. any money, you're the no go Please. zone. But if you're cute, you're really cute and, and don't have any money, you're, you're you're like in the fun zone here. And if you have money, what's that? What's that word say? If you have husband. money, then husband. husband okay, yeah. If but you have to be at least this cute. Okay. With that yeah. much money to be husband. That's not accurate <laughs> from my life experience. So whatever. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Justin said you could barely. Could everybody hear that? I didn't I hear it. I, he, you know he, what? Let just me, probably just because we were laughing so hard. You know you what? Know? Let me. Yeah. Let me. Um. Let me do it again. Um, let, 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 let it play out. Okay. Let's play it. Let it play. I turn the sound. Simpler. Up. If a dude is super hot, okay. Yeah, it's a little simpler, but we can do it real quick. It doesn't take very long at all. For women, this is your this is your matrix. You got your cute axis. And you got your money axis, okay? <laughs> and uh, if you have, there's only three sections. Women have a very large no-go zone. <laughs> this is for dudes who are neither hot nor have a lot of money. Um, you'll notice over here, this is the husband section. Uh, once you cross a line and have sufficient amounts of money, it is no longer relevant how hot you are. <laughs> and then women have a fun zone here where a dude is broke but hot. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the that is the cute versus rich matrix uh, for women's hips. There you go. Uh, <laughs> remember, your responsibility to be ready to date hot bitches never ends. <laughs> oh my god.